Today we're looking at a program called Midjourney and it runs through a server which is like a big chat room called Discord. You have to sign up to Discord before you can basically work uh, Midjourney. Uh, you can come across here and you can see that we're in Discord at the moment and this is the Midjourney which is a photorealistic site making images of things from cats to landscapes. Now what I'm interested in doing is using it for landscape design concepts. Now when you when you initially come in here you need to really just make add a server otherwise you end up in one of these chat rooms with lots of people. So you're going to click add server, you're going to go create my own, you're going to skip this question, you are going to name the server and you're going to call it whatever you want to call it but I will um, just call it um, other this one called other images and leave it at that I'm going to go create and it's created it now I need to go back to the mid journey one here I need to flip over to this members list and if it's that's going to hide the members we need to show the members list we know need to go down to the mid journey robot and then we're going to add that server and we're going to select the server and we're going to have other images and then we're going to press continue we're going to authorize we're going to click that and then we are done and then if we come over here this is where it is other images located there and then we can start uh, using this in our private room so when you start off the the, you'll start off down the bottom of the page here in this little message box and you are going to put slash imagine and then you're going to click on this which is the prompt and then you can Im imagine a for example Japanese garden with a water feature and we might want to put small so these are the words that are the prompts and then you press enter when you're finished and then this is a sign that this is now starting to <coughs> make uh, the images so there's a couple other things that you can do where you can this is plus button so that's waiting to start while we wait to start there it is there it's going to produce four pictures one two three four and as you can see it's just developing now um, while it while that does that I'm going to press the plus button now you can upload a file and I'm going to upload a file now just from my um, just from one of my um, own pictures and then you need to press enter and that will put the put the photo into the program now um, what we need to do now is okay so while we just pause on there for a minute this these images are up now so have a, we'll have a quick look at them and they all look fine you can select which one you want to to enhance so down here you've got u u which means upscale v means variation so if you upscale one of the images one would be that image two would be that image u3 would be that image u4 would be that image variation one variation two variation three now when it does another variation it will do four different images again so let's just try that we're going to pick um we're just going to pick a random one there we're going to upscale four and then that's going to make a bigger bigger picture of that and we're also going to get a variation on um three which is this one here and we're going to press three and then it's we can add something else to it so we might want a, a pergola and we might actually want to put other commands but uh, but at the state we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it leave it there and that's gonna then create that job also this is the upscaled image it's got a high resolution to it and you can see it's pretty reasonable quality but it doesn't make a lot of sense because here we've just got a bit of decking that doesn't lead to anything um, there's no doors um, sometimes it it just randomly creates these images a little bit like if you were asking yourself to make a Japanese garden and 
you just all the Japanese gardens you think of and it just pushes it all together in an image. Here again it's doing another image here of the one that we decided to do which was variation 3. Okay let's have a look at those and kind of look um, that's better yeah that's better so these ones have got little doors going out into sort of steps but stepping down into a waterfall and decking here's some more over here and some more over here they look I mean they look pretty reasonable um, so again you can you can upscale those now um, going back to our picture if we wanted to work on this picture what we need to do is, is click on this picture and we're going to copy the image link now once you you can copy an image link for any from any image on the internet so what we would need to do here is do exactly the same thing as slash imagine and oops imagine there was our prompt clicked on that click on the prompt and then we are going to paste our link to our picture now what we want to do is um, after this image we're going to put a little space and then after the space we are going to say something like cottage garden and you can also change the square image by after cottage garden just leave a space and then you're going to do two little um, slashes and then we're going to put a aspect ratio which is AR and then another space and we're going to make this landscape which is two to one square is one to one and landscape is two to one you can do four to one which is would be um, like very long and thin or you can do one to four which would be kind of uh, more of a um, or one to two which is a portrait so we're going to press that and that will start making um, taking the image of my garden and adding making and it into a cottage garden so the program itself is working with um, prompts so you start with the image then the information of like text that you're going to put in for it to go with and then after that you put the parameters which I've done here which is this little things now there's quite a few different parameters you can you can do um, there's ones that you can do uh, that will make it more varied the picture less varied you can give more visual weight to the image and or less visual weight meaning that the program will take more of a focus from the image but at this sort of stage oh I won't go into those but um, you can see this one's just developing now and it's going to make a cottage garden out of out of the picture it was given generates it pretty quick and it's quite impressive that it can do this very quickly and it's a great tool I think to give you ideas on, on different concepts but really if you wanted to do something of more detail you would need to then take these and just sort of maybe grab a few ideas from them and still need to put them in a proper landscape plan so let's have a quick look at that and it's this is the cottage garden and as you can see it doesn't really look like my house it's sort of made a cottage with sort of green roof and white weatherboards but quite different to the to the picture it was given now if we put in there for instance we can do the same again so we can give it more weight on the imagined prompt so we're going to go like that and then we're going to do the same thing again but this time we're going to put space cottage garden space and then we're going to put two parameters so we're going to put the dun 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 and we want that this time the image weight which is IW and we're going to make it um, space 2 and that's the highest it will go to 0.5 is lowest so we're going to make it quite dominant the picture see what happens and then we're going to go space and then we're going to do another two little slashes like that and then we're going to and then we're going to change and then actually we'll now keep the we'll keep the aspect ratio AR at the same which will be then um, uh, 2 to 1 and then we're going to press enter hopefully I've done that right let's have a look 
Yes. Okay. So if, it, if you don't quite get that coding right, it will throw you back with a message that you haven't got it quite in the right order. So there's little spaces and the, and the right sort of letters are very important when you're doing this. So that's doing it now. Now, one of the other things you can do is you can, um, if you want to take this into another program, you can basically find out, for example, let's have a look, this picture here. If we if we click on it and we go, hang on, uh, if we you can you can obviously if you click on it you can copy save the image email the image whatever you want to do. Um, now, if I just right click on that to get the what's called the seed of this particular picture, which is if I wanted to make um, and just use this without all this putting all these letters in uh, about Japanese water garden basically what I do is go down to on here in apps I go DM results and I'll click that now that will send me a little email up here in the mid journey bot and I can see that this is the job ID number and that's the seed number so that's the number I need to copy and paste into the prompt that will get me that picture okay so we'll go back to our, see what's happening here and this one it was putting more visual weight is it let's see if it has made much of a difference uh, not really so didn't have too much of a difference on that particular picture just more cottage gardens so yeah depending on what you want to do this is this is a good tool there's other things like you can say for example um, let's take that that seed, uh, which is basically slash imagine. That's always what you have to do. And then we're going to put, we're going to copy the seed, um, which um, now let's have a look. Do I have to do that again? Um, we're going to we're going to just do it's just something else for a minute. We're going to put in a prompt Mediterranean. Iranian garden, uh, small, small Mediterranean garden, uh, with pergola and fountain, and at the end we will. Um, We'll leave, we'll leave it there. Um, I'm just trying to think what else we can do with it. That's that's pretty much it. Um, I will just press that in and we'll just see it. It'll produce another four little squares. And you can keep on doing it. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Just remember now I just wanted to make it into more of a perspective rather than that. So I will just do that again. That's just going to do it then. So I'll just do another one. Imagine. There we go. A small... Mediterranean garden and then we'll just put like a comma a birds eye view so it is very important that you put in the right text so birds eye view is looking down on top of it you could also put um, worms eye view which is looking from the bottom upwards and we'll just see what that does and that will be a different one so let's have a look at this these images this is the mediterranean garden with a fountain with a pergola sure enough that's pretty good it's got a nice little seating area it's got the it's got the brickwork and fountain square ones yeah pretty reasonable um done it very quickly now this is the bird's eye view of the mediterranean small mediterranean garden so you can get kind of a landscape plan view of it We'll have a look in a minute. It's quite cool the way it kind of just develops. It reminds me of those that um, invasion of the body snatchers when the pods were developing and you're kind of watching it kind of develop. Hmm. So it's kind of done a more of a 3D perspective than really a bird's eye plan view. But sometimes it, it does them a little bit better. So let's have a look here. So the not too bad. Um, so a bird's eye view, probably this one here, I would say. 
um, yeah so you can do that okay guys that gives hopefully it gives gives you a look into mid journey it's a program that you have to um, basically that we're giving away free ones free trials on this these ones this one I've subscribed to is $30 a month um, I probably will go down to a $10 a month um, subscription uh, because that's all I need. And you obviously, if you're using this all the time, then it's a $60 a month uh, per a subscription. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll hopefully uh, we'll see you in the next video.